Good morning, Karachi. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, best regards to you from Sofia University. Um, my name is Piotr Pieczek and I lecture at um, politics and philosophy departments. Today, uh, I would like to present you something which you might find very interesting because it is the fruit of my recent research. Um, we will today approach regional conflicts through the prism of ontology in social understanding which is the new compartmentalization of higher theory. I mean, we will not discuss any conflicts, but we will discuss the methodology, which will allow you to explain various conflicts in more approachable manner. I would like to, first of all, thank Professor Faisal Javed and uh, Federal Urdu University in Karachi for this kind invitation to take part in this workshop. And I would also like to apologize to you that I cannot take uh, more active participation in this in this workshop because uh, it is not live presentation, it is pre-recorded one, but it is due to the fact that I'm swamped with work this week. And uh, I have a lot of responsibilities towards my students here in Sofia, a couple of uh, corporate clients, and also I need to meet a couple of deadlines, the publishing deadlines. So for these reasons, we decided to pre-record this presentation for your for your convenience as well. Uh, and to the best of my knowledge, this workshop aims at achieving the following objectives. Uh, you will be provided with comprehensive understanding of various research methodologies employed in social science, and you will be familiarized with the data collection, literature review, and analysis of various techniques. Um, you will explore, uh, explore best practices in designing and conducting research projects in the field of social science, of course, in, for, in order to foster collaboration and knowledge sharing among faculty members and students through interactive sessions and discussions. So this is the plan, this is an objective, and how would I contribute to these objectives? So basically, a few words about myself. Um, I work both in academia and in corporate sector. I published extensively. I also edit a couple of things. Um, in general, I assess geostrategic risk and evaluate the exposures for my clients who wish to invest in Eastern Europe, the Balkans and the Middle East. Uh, I also happen to uh, be in charge of Insights on Ascendi, which started as academic journal. We've published over 150 academic articles, book reviews, and now we evolved into a think tank, which is a non-partisan, independent and highly diversified. So we perform research and advocacy concerning international law, social policy, political strategy, economics, military technology, artificial intelligence, green technology, and of course, culture. So in the global political uh, arena, the developments are taking on increased importance in today's world. Change can have an immediate impact on the economy, business and society at large. And we need to bring geopolitics, geoeconomy closer to the investment community and corporate decision make makers at the time of travels, because uh, we are currently facing a an interesting era where year after year various uh, regional and global events are impacting our global environment and we need experts and these experts need to be properly trained and in order to properly assess various situations you need to have strong methodology behind you so you need to be working towards improving your skills in order to deliver you are perhaps young adepts of IR theory, social science, and you need some help. So that's why we are here. That's why we will crack on with with this uh, today's uh, workshop. In general, the ontology, which I advocate in favor of using, should be uh, useful to academics, corporate sector, NGO practitioners, politicians, decision makers, policy makers, ordinary men, and simply everyone. So this is the purpose. I don't believe in science, which is produced only for scientists, for some abstract uh, conversations. I, I believe in science, which is interactive, science, which is approachable, and science, 
that is for everyone basically so that's the ontology in status understanding and that's where we stand for basically i believe that the purpose the main purpose uh, for you to take part in this workshop is to strengthen your academic credentials which is which is uh, very important what i recently discovered uh, as an ir theorist is the fact that uh, contemporary ir theory is not as useful as it should be because in the dream world uh, given that it was invented exactly for such purpose like explaining global regional or local conflict the ir theory struggles to do that so we need to readjust uh, supplement it and help it to get the right order uh, to basically to uh, to improve it before we can use it so many ir scholars engage in a so-called cherry picking strategy so um, this is determined by the strict preferences of their approach uh, many uh, ir scholars would eat from one or two branches of this ontological bigger tree which we were discussing today and uh, i believe that by adopting holistic approach to various um, dimensions we can succeed without without being open-minded without uh, exploring different branches of uh, our tradition we don't offer a good enough product for for both academia corporate sector and also non-profit organizations so and um, ir theory itself is a branch of um, political science which is very well developed and i'm strong I, I i am a strong believer that it is very very strong theory but it is unfortunately very divided and very pluralistic and for this reason sometimes um it suffers from a huge specification and a lack of collaboration between various approaches theories and paradigms and ontology in certain understanding hopes to change that the main purpose of this pre presentation in general would be to suggest to you a different compartmentalization of science of ir theory and, and this compartmentalization will be used in more approachable manner to explain various ongoing confrontations that uh, can be challenging because uh, their very nature is very elusive so highly diversified IR theory struggles to approach highly diversified and elusive conflicts. So the best way to do that is to find some locus, locus of mutual understanding between or uh, multilateral understanding be between various approaches. And I'm not talking only about positivist and post-positivist approaches. I'm not talking only about some sort of structuralist and non-structuralist approaches. I'm talking about bringing all of the approaches, all of the theories together. So um, the IR theory will start working in a way that it will be more approachable for you guys. Because I treat the IR theory as a very fluid ontology that can learn from its own mistakes. So what is ontology? In philosophy, it is a part of metaphysics and it is a philosophical study of being. It investigates what types of uh, entities exist, how they are grouped into categories and how they are related to one another. Ontologies basically surround us. And a quick and useful example of uh, which is how the internet has been shaped and categorized. Heavily relying on the collection of algorithms, alpha numerical addresses of the domain that underpins and interlinks the way in which the information is stored, interlinked, indexed and accessed in public domain. And basically IR theory is the same. So um, it is an ontology. It is a between uh, ontology, which is between scientific ontology and um, philosophical ontology. So uh, it relies heavily on certain paradigms, certain theories, approaches, and uh, inherently conflicted it happens to be as well. So this ontology, in the way it is shaped now, it's 
resembles the universe because it expands in various directions in all uh, directions and it's uncontrollable so basically ontology in Saturn Ascendi would be some sort of uh, synthesis but um, it won't be playing the role of hybrid which will replace the existing IR theory. No, no, no. Uh, ontology in Saturn Sandy will just um, supplement the existing IR theory. And it will be su supplementing IR theory by creating various um, way of communicating between various uh, IR theories and various IR approaches in a way that is will improve the interdepartmental communication. So this is this is something which I kind of invented, uh, and I, I've been working on that ever since 2017. And so this, my, you, you might find it interesting, basically. But I completely get that it still can be confusing. So let us simplify that, because that's the main purpose of my work as an ontologist, is to simplify it so everyone can understand it. So if I was about to explain what I've just said to my four and a half year old child, I would most probably begin by explaining that it is just like setting off a fascinating journey. And such a journey leads to the road of discovery and, and discovering the truth about any given objects, property, event, process, and relation in every area of social reality, despite the difficulties that one may encounter during the process. As a matter of fact, ontologists is very excited about facing difficulties because it's only difficulties that teach us how to how to approach problems and by doing so by dedicating enough energy motivation into what we do we improve the way we not only comprehend the social reality but also how we describe it so in this sense ontologist never settles for more straightforward or more approachable answers and he or she is always inclined to be excited about digging deeper and deeper uh, to uncover the hidden truths about the nature of given uh, phenomenon so basically ontology's primary responsibility is finding the best way to ask the most relevant questions establishing an explicit indisputable and universally agreed upon definition or explanation of the concept trying to determine a set of assumptions about the world and currently when we take into consideration ir theory and uh, with the current cherry picking strategy various ir theory theorists uh, use uh, this basically uh, helps them to show the world from various perspectives like realist perspective or liberal perspective or feminist perspective constructivist post constructivist rationalist or english schoolish type of perspective what i'm interested in is holistic approach so invite every single one of those uh, scholars to the table to start a more mature type of uh, science creation and more comprehensive uh, pluralistic approaches and by showing various differences within the literature of the subject which we have so ontology in the field of international relations exists and it has been widely used especially ever since 1960s uh, roy bashar or alexander went um, those folks are well known, well known among the specialists in IR theory, but we need more. We need to focus on ontology in order to improve our understanding. Um, so, in the field of international relations, uh, it is used to describe the social reality at hand and describe the actors, their interactions, and the structure of those interactions. The IR theory itself also accounts for a semi-scientific and semi-philosophical compartmentalization that needs a little recalibration to permit our scholars to take full advantage of all vasticity and approach the local agents located in the specific time structure from a different, more mature perspective with a more significant likelihood of rediscovering more pluralistic sets of their fundamental properties, characteristics, agency, relationship, functions, events, uh, instances, 
axioms and possible future superstructures that could be used to supplement all static traditions with more liquid paradigms, experimental theories and diversified approaches in a more hyperbolic, liquid and flexible way that should contribute to an everlasting endeavor to develop a more approachable landscape of awareness that will edify and incorporate these elusive and vague concepts that are still essentially forming, emerging, adjusting and coming to reality. So this is the basically the objective of the IR theories, uh, ontology instead to understand the type of explanations, basically. Our disciplines uh, happens to be in the middle of protracted epistemic and ontological confrontation between various isms, paradigms and traditions. So if you are new to that, you will soon understand that liberals and realists are very conflicted. The constructivists and um, English school theory lovers, they, they might not be able to find the common language, but they still believe that they present more holistic approach, but they don't. They don't because they don't take advantage of other methods, other ways of describing the social reality. But together, if we combine our efforts and uh, utilize some of our methodolo methodology, we can succeed, in my opinion. So again, if you are new to IR theory, I would like to tell you about one simple division between classical approaches and non-classical approaches. So I believe that uh, classical approaches such as realism and liberalism are very good uh, of theoretical departure. So you can start uh, your great IR adventure by familiarizing yourself with these two. But then it's good to add to this equation basically non-classical approaches. And non-classical approaches are Marxism, constructivism, English school, structuralism, post-colonialism, and many others. So if you combine them, if you start familiarizing yourself with those approaches, you will definitely open your mind to, to something else. Different way of approaching social reality. And the nature of controversy is that our discipline says more and more about less and less. So we are preoccupied with the, with the internal conflicts, the issues between isms, then actually adjusting them to explanations of social reality. And this is symptomatic to dysfunctional, badly communicated and badly compartmentalized theory. So that's where ontology and stuff constantly comes very handy because this, uh, this very concept postulates um, to avoid embracing in single dimensional explanations and prioritizing complexity over simplicity. It suggests uh, avoiding well-trodden explanatory paths and entering into most challenging uh, ones in attempt to self-betterment to meet tomorrow's demands, basically. So this is, this is the objective at hand. This ontology also postulates building em empirical bridges of mutual understanding instead of walls of divisions to approach our research in more constructive manner. So uh, by uh, sticking to this new compartmentalization and by supplementing the existing IA theory with uh, ontology in, in such understanding, uh, we can embrace more systematic interdisciplinary and contemplative mode of IR related deliberations that hopes to convey the central meaning of the given research area by bridging the division between the main conceptual methodological and analytical differences between what happens to be a collection of rival approaches, theories and traditions that should be better integrated within the IR theory. So again, interconnecting is a key to finding the way to describe modern conflict. Local, regional or global confrontations would be better described thanks to ontology instead of understanding. Again, this is something which you might find interesting because um, basically the main purpose 
of this ontology in Saturn Ascending is also to add the X factor to your research, to give you a couple of tips and suggestions and recommendations how you optimize the way you conduct your research. You can do it by making yourself clear, understandable, and by following certain structure, by providing your hypothesis and by befriending, mastering methods and approaches. So uh, imagine yourself, again, imagine yourself uh, that you meet uh, the X-Factor judges like uh, Louis Walsh, Sharon Osborne, Simon Cowell, to Lisa, Gary Barlow or Rita Ora. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, those folks are very impatient so you have limited time to persuade them to i don't know to present yourself as a, a future x factor star and imagine yourself that you meet um x factor judges who assess your uh, ability to present your research because that's what it comes down to in order to be a good scientist you need to have strong very strong methodological underpinning so you need to have very strong methodology no so no one can question you on the methods you use basically so in order to do that now let us imagine that we have limited number of time to do so to describe the ir theory as it is Okay, folks, so basically imagine that you have just 8.2 seconds because this is an average human attention span these days in the era of Facebook and Instagram where people scroll. So let us imagine that we need to persuade someone that ontology in Saturn Ascendi is bet better, it's better compartmentalization than IR theory as it is now. So let's switch on the timer. We have eight seconds. So basically ontology in Saturn Ascendi uh, is more respectful, more holistic, and more approachable. 8.83. Well, I settle for that. More holistic, more understandable, and more approachable. And we try to attain better clarity in what we do. Uh, this, this argument alone should persuade you to, uh, to try it at least and trying to compare uh, ontology in Saturn Ascendi and IR theory, basically. Because um, ontology in Saturn Ascendi doesn't revolutionize a science. It just offers a little bit a uh, path to evolution because it uses the achievements of IR theory and compartmentalizes in it in a little bit better way by finding the best possible methods, best possible approaches, and by interlinking them and indicating to various scholars, oh, you can do something better by using, for instance, um, descriptive method or uh, by using sociological uh, investigation or by approaching this, uh, uh, by using microeconomy or uh, microeconomy to this type of explanations by using statistics to show something in better way. So this is my main point, which I would like to uh, encourage you to do at the moment. I basically argue that IR theory has what it takes to be appealing for the young adepts of social science. It's intellectually stimulating, sexy, and even if it happens to be quite complicated. This complexity makes it very interesting, but complexity cannot be uh, bringing us down. It should be helping us. So that's why we use ontology in Saturn Ascendi to supplement our IR theory. So this IR theory is even stronger than it used to be. So this is the main, the main objective uh, of this presentation. So basically what I'm saying is that practice and theory should be uh, working together. The theorist who creates the theory and who describes social reality should always remember that there can be a practitioner who will read his papers or read his book and try to apply his research, his um, ideas to reality, to, into fixing the world problems. Uh, in essence, digging deeper into your methods, methodology will definitely help you to succeed in your academic endeavors. But the essence of that is to be as effective as possible, just to find the connection between theory and practice in the real life policymaking situations that will make it appealing to the practitioners. Imagine yourself this moment from Jerry Maguire uh, movie uh, that 
you need to communicate something in a theoret theoretical manner to practitioner. You need to find a way to meet certain common objectives. So uh, we need to help you to help me and help me to help you, basically, uh, if it makes sense to you. And in essence, ontology in steps and ascending is not only compartmentalization, it's not only supplement of IR theory, it seeks to bring to the table the most relevant debates and interrelate them with political philosophy to give us chance to approach this know-how as a new horizon of investigations. So this know-how uh, is quite substantial, as a matter of fact. So uh, I didn't tell you that, but ontology in Southern Sandy uh, happens to connect two words, the IR theory, uh, both uh, from theoretical and practical perspective to philosophical world, because there is a lot of uh, philosophical insights which are used in IR theory and the compartmentalization of these philosophical insights are not uh, approachable enough to young, especially to young adepts of IR theory. So by interrelating them, by finding, finding different horizons of investigations, we can definitely succeed uh, and uh, approach this world which is increasingly more elusive, more fluid and more unpredictable than ever before. Have you ever thought about COVID? global pandemic before 2000 2021 that's something which was unimaginable As, uh, similarly in europe especially we wouldn't ever say that russia would attack ukraine in 2022 that that's something which liberal ir theorists would say oh that, that's crazy idea and yet it happened so today uh, we live in the world which is completely unpredictable and it changes the the events of the world change in within seconds. The the way the global architecture of power is evolving is completely surprising. The traditional realist um, theories, for instance, would would you say that BRICS will become so powerful some five ten years ago? No, you wouldn't. But yet the BRICS just uh, ad adopted new policy of, uh, of accepting more member states. So this is uh, something which you need to take into consideration. Remember this Polish national based in Sofia, Piotr Pietrzak, who told you, oh, you know what? The IR theory is not as applicable as it used to be. So we need to do something about it. And it will be your generation who will take part in seven or eight grand uh, debates. And you need to uh, be ready for that because the world, the world needs you to be ready. We need you to offer us your uh, insights because my generation, we will take over from the old generation of professors in about five, 10 years but you will take over from us in seven or eight years because the global reality at hand is changing rapidly and the new, new generation of scholars are um, basically more and more competitive than, than the older generation. Ontology in such an understanding can help you to, to attain that, as a matter of fact, because it's in perpetual process of transitioning, forming and adjusting to the emerging new circumstances. Basically, you can succeed in today's global reality. Uh, you can succeed in describing global conflicts and global um, solutions by being ready to be flexible, by understanding what's going on, and by finding a new ways of approaching them. And uh, this is something which Ontology in Southern Sunday is offering, basically. Uh, it is a new compartmentalization, it's largely uh, hybridized, um, that serves several supplementary roles and uh, supportive evolutionary functions for each IR approach that ultimately emerges uh, some of the biggest chunks of the IR theory and some of the most interesting discoveries in the more approachable manner by focusing our attention to the analysis of all social structures pre-existent and emerging. Ontology in South Nassim, the biggest strength is the fact that it encourages actually interdisciplinary discourse and the pursuit of, for clarity that can change the 
general landscape of awareness by emerging new respectful attitudes towards other IR uh, scholars and philosophers that account for a very flexible model that helps to formulate more precise and more relevant questions so it's easier to approach the scholarly text with the hermeneutical precisions that helps us to look at an idea, concept, process or pattern through the prism of multitude of approaches brought to our attention simultaneously. So this is something which you might find useful. We can re strengthen our research in this respect by relying on all available historical, statistical, macroeconomic and geoeconomic data, data to increase the likelihood of successful approaching modern conflicts and by extension helping to find the best possible solution for them. One very simple example, Italian political scientist uh, Giovanni Sartori fam famously claimed that uh, men who realizes the limitations of not having a thermometer should still be able to say great deal about the weather and temperature simply by relying on slightly more vague sets of obs observations, merely by stating that it is hot and cold, warmer and cooler and can describe the reality at hand. This is essentially step of measuring uh, variables logically before finding a relationship between them. And this spirit of thinking can also be adopted in conflict management. It is our responsibility to use all of the methods at our disposal to describe the social reality at hand in the most approachable manner. So basically imagine yourself that you don't have a thermometer and you cannot check your temperature. So you can say, oh, you're your forehead is hot, it's warm, and your forehead is normal. So this is the um, the the way of doing things. The ontologists, um, the ontologists in statement stand this basically uh, advocate in favor. Basically, we know that that IR theory is so complex, so convoluted, and it's difficult to approach that we need to find the new ways to approach it, to, to use the best methods they are from various perspectives. My recommendation is to follow your intellectual curiosity and use what you have, uh, what, what we created over the course of the last 100 years in the most approachable manner and describe it uh, in the best possible way you can. And that's how you succeed as a scholar who is very particular about um, his or her methodology. Uh, ontology in Staten Island is put forward to encourage us to take part in different type of intellectual journey uh, altogether, basically. It cons con consistence with the following one's intellectual curiosity, no matter what. It advocates adopting a more contemplative, evolutionary manner of investigation, perpetual self-improvement, collaboration, flexibility, and openness to different interdisciplinary traditions. It aspires to move uh, our understanding beyond the traditional status quo type of explanations. It is dedicated to overcoming shallow, superficial, and one-dimensional explanations by embracing a self-perpetual process of continuous attempts to befriend a wisdom, which in turn offers a unique intellectual stimulus to accelerate the pace of any given research. So uh, the process of befriending wisdom is the process which is known as philosophizing. So in essence, I encourage you, new um, social science thinker, to basically start philosophizing about certain things in a, in a positive manner. Don't overthink stuff, but try to approach something from different perspective. If something doesn't serve you, you need to find a way to prove your hypothesis correctly, um, prove the plausibility of your hypothesis. Sometimes it's it's difficult, sometimes hypotheses are, are uh, wrongly formulated, so you cannot do that, but you need to try different methods, different approaches and different theories to try to try to investigate the social reality as it is basically. It is pluralistic.
it cannot be genuinely attributed to or monopolized by one scholar, inventor of uh, originator. So basically, uh, you cannot say that Piotr Pietrzak invented ontology in certain understanding. No. Uh, to the best of my uh, understanding, every serious scholar develops their own ontology that leads them to more mature scientific discoveries in the field of, uh, of their interests. My ontology uh, in certain understanding would be different than the ontological mode of thinking adopted by other IR uh, thinkers and political philosophers, for they will ultimately differ from one another and they should be entitled to develop their own states of becoming, their own process of ontopistemo methodological formations. Each of these compartmentalizations will have its own unique proportion of instatuna standiness that will help it to approach various concepts, processes and ideas in various specific manner, some of which would be understood only in hindsight. So um, sometimes you just uh, understand something from the perspective of hindsight. So you will understand uh, certain, certain uh, developments uh, in the future. And that's the beauty of it, basically. There's plenty of opportunities uh, of conceptualization of uh, universalism and solidarism. Uh, it can help us to transform international relations theory into locus of uh, interdisciplinary dialogue of all with all that is based on mutual respect and understanding, pursuit of truth, clarity, academic excellence, and broader accountability and transparency. So basically, the, the new wave, perhaps the fifth uh, grand debate, suggests to adopt to IR theory such approaches as, uh, for instance, Egyptian concept of mat, the principle of order, which informs the world's creation and how it might be instrumental in understanding African norms uh, of knowledge. It also suggests to um, add the Islamic Uma and uh, Sheikh uh, Khalsa Pant and the reconceptualization of universalism and solidarism. Uh, subsequently, we can try to import a non-derivative and non-exceptionalist global IR thought um, from the Sufi philosophy of the 13th century poet uh, Mohammed Rumi. We can also engage in much deeper examination of the Chinese IR exploration of distinct worldview that draw, draws significantly from ancient Chinese thought and uh, dialectics, as well as philosophers such as Confucius. Next, we can also try to uh, start listening to Latin American voices in international relations. All of it, all of it is important and traditional uh, classical IR approaches uh, are very, you know, they are not interested in, in engaging in this debate. And we have to, in order for IR theory to be strengthened, we need to make sure that a uh, fifth uh, grand debate, which is um, finally inviting these uh, voices to the uh, policymaking uh, deliberations, make her stable, uh, finally, uh, we need to take into account this uh, diversified, pluralistic world we live in. Not only the traditional approaches, but everything and everyone basically uh, should have a chance to contribute to the IR theory. And that's the, also the way ontology in Saturn Sunday will operate. The use of ontology in Saturn Sunday so far, uh, so far I'm, I, I think that I'm the only scholar who, who is advocating in favor of ontology in Saturn Sunday. Uh, you can find some relevant uh, information about it in my recent publications uh, on the idea of human inter intervention compartmentalization of IR theories that was published in 2021. The next publication uh, that will uh, approach it in more structuralized manner uh, would be dealing with regional conflicts of global importance. This is a uh, broader work. Um, at least 30 chapters will be um, published in this uh, little edition. Some, some professors from your Distinctive University also took part in this initiative. So if you if you think that you might be interested, try to find our project and dealing with regional conflicts of global importance still accept some chapter submissions. So if you think that ontology in Staten uh, would be 
an interesting concept for you try to um, compare it mentalize it in a chapter and we will consider it for publication basically essentially uh, ontology in social standing will uh, allow you to compartmentalize various approaches within the IR theory in more um, approachable manner. So um, the schools such as realism, liberalism, constructivism, English school, Marxism, rationalism, post-structuralism, uh, post-colonialism, feminism, they use various methods, they use various uh, way of approaching things and they are um, constructed in various manners. They focus on various ways. So ontology in certain sense will try to find the common denominator and common ground for all of these approaches to be sat at one table, policy making uh, table, and um, it would give the voice to all of these approaches to um, bring various other emphasis on um, regarding ongoing conflicts or ongoing confrontations, wars, uh, and by doing so, by being so pluralistic and by being so open-minded, basically, ontology in certain sense can achieve more than the way the current uh, IR theory is um, shaped, basically. So by showing this diversity of approaches and their uh, responses to various um, events, we can show more in holistic manner. Basically, we ask what would happen if you took advantage of all of those approaches and uh, try to wear the shoes of different different scholars from from the same discipline, and um, by doing so. And we would definitely have a different way of approaching things and that would allow us to strengthen our research so in my recommendation to you young adults of IR theory and social science is to basically take into account the approaches which you fundamentally don't agree with for instance if you are a realist thinker or if you consider yourself a realist thinker Try to think, okay, so what would feminists or radical feminists uh, say in this situation? If you are a constructivist, say, okay, so what would Marxists say? If you are Marxist, ask yourself, okay, so what, what post-colonialists would say in this respect? And by framing this debate in this manner, we can show more again, I, I suppose. By adopting ontology in certain study, uh, we will definitely be able to uh, strengthen your explanatory powers. Um, and uh, my recommendation is try to use it in practice. Um, and um, what I can what, what I can say is that if you have any questions, you can definitely contact me, and I would be more than happy to assist you further because this is my strong belief that ontology in certain understanding the use of these concepts uh, can add extra value to, to your research and um, our explanation of the global uh, reality at hand would uh, basically uh, be strengthened the, the powers uh, of you as a researcher because uh, you would be able to apply various epistemological and meta-ontological insights into your practical analysis of multiply conflict resolution strategies, identify, identify a number of issues that sh uh, shouldn't have been missed in the first place, and we would be able to explain the complex world of international relations, organized violence, regional cooperation in more approachable manner. And ontology in South Sandy can be also used to uh, approach the great debates in IR theory in more approachable manner as well. I've tried it recently with my students from Arlianga University in Indonesia. You can refer, you can find my the video recording of the lecture. So I'm not gonna um, go into details of every single uh, great debate because. Um, the first debate uh, started uh, in between 1930 and 1940. It was the debate between uh, tra traditionalists and idealists. Um, the second debate uh, between behavioralists and traditionalists in IR theory. 
the third grand debate um, happened in 1980s between neorealism neo and neoliberalism and many other approaches. So, so I refer you to a lot of literature which is uh, written about these uh, approaches. The fourth great debate in international relations uh, emerges in the early 2000s. There is various ways of approaching the debate between positivism and post-positivism again. And you can stop this um, um, this recording and you can read it in full. I'm heading towards fifth grand debate, which is uh, the most recent debate that emerged in the 2010s and is uh, centered around how to respond to the challenges passed by the global inequality, climate change and other transnational issues that require collective actions. Sometimes fifth debate is uh, associated with the complexity theory, which is um, which accounts for interdisciplinary field of study that provides a valuable framework for understanding the challenges of global governance in rapidly changing world by focusing and on understanding of complex systems and the emergence of new forms of governance that can be composed of multiply uh, interacting elements exhibiting non-linear and unpredictable behavior basically and what we would be the most interested in would be in the future the sixth seventh or eighth or even ninth great debate in international relations because ontology in such an assembly can find a way to to approach it there are no widely accepted sixth seventh eighth and ninth debates it is our generation and your generation who will basically crack on with this task of approaching it um, they have not yet emerged but they are likely to emerge soon and they will relate to the way the ir theorist responds to the issues related to the impact of new, new technologies artificial intelligence, the issues related to cyber security, cyber threats, and high speed of development in anonymous weapon systems, pandemics, and the rise of non-state actors, asymmetric warfare, the changing nature of conflicts, and the use of hybrid tactics such as disinformation campaigns related to climate change, deforestation, water shortages, environmental degradation, uh, and various issues related to social change, inequality, insecurity, and modern conflict. We will probably have to deliberate on the changing balance of power in the international, uh, international system and the globalization, especially after the events of 24th of February 2022. The new Cold War, the BRICS countries who are basically, according to many scores, li are likely to take over the world in the future of course not in the short term but you never know and uh, in the long run we might be discussing the BRICS the new BRICS shaped international system so the question remains for what is IRTR where are you going IRTR we find ourselves in 21st century where everything is interchangeable Ontology in such an understanding wants to be at the forefront of those debates and to help elaborate a practical blueprint that will allow us to respond to the complex challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. To achieve that, we hope to supplement the existing IR theory with various approaches, such as, for instance, Habermas deliberative democracy to attain a new horizon of investigations, Hegelian dialectics, properly recollect the information that has escaped our attention in the previous uh, phases of this project, the Levinasian of ontology of the other, always compartmentalizes the available approaches, theories and paradigms in relation to the living individuals that expect their knowledge to be as clear, as approachable as possible. Baumannian liquid modernity and the Ridian deconstructive plasticity brings together um, as many seemingly unrelated approaches as possible to ensure that this project is as holistic as approaches. But we need your help. In order for ontology in certain understanding to succeed, we need you, you new adepts of IR theory, new social scientists. We need you to be excited about methodology. We need you to be excited about IR theory. We need you to contribute to this challenge because this is 
the challenge of tomorrow. We need you to be part of the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th broad grand theory, grand, grand debates of IRTR because the world belongs to you. And today in Karachi, tomorrow in Sofia and the day after tomorrow somewhere in Washington, you can create you can change this world according to your to your liking basically so be with us and stay tuned because this is something which we will definitely bring to reality if you like today's presentation and if you are interested in ir theory you are interested in uh, ontology in Stanley, and, and you have some questions don't hesitate to contact me you can either email me on pietrzak, that's my surname, underscore IR for international relations at hotmail.com or you can find me on LinkedIn and I will be more than happy to assist you forever because today and tomorrow belongs to us. So best regards to you guys, all the best from Sofia, Bulgaria. Uh, if you think that my approach to IR theory is likable, I can also meet you in Karachi. I would love to visit Pakistan. It was a pleasure to address you today and stay tuned.